London's 80s club scene, and Ewan Morton plays the young Boy George, Boy George, and BG, <laughs> and Ewan Morton. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, a bit tired. Are you? An early one today. Well, I know it is, so we appreciate your coming <laughs> okay. in. Uh, but you're, you're dark tonight, so you, you can get a bit of a rest. No, no, you? we've got a show tonight. Oh, you do? Yeah, unfortunately. On Monday tonight. nights, I thought most theaters yeah, are not dark. Not this week, though, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Show's well, thank you. A double thank you, then, for getting up <laughs> bright and early. So I talked to you and Rosie not too long ago, before yeah. the, the show opened, yeah. and before it got kind of eviscerated by the crowd. Critics. Well, not by every critic, just by those with no taste. Well, there you go. That's a good way of, of <laughs> Michael dealing Michael is it. not a critic, he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, I mean, George, it must be tough though. You guys pour your hearts and souls into a show like this. It requires endless hours of rehearsing, and it's your life story. Mm. When you read some of the nasty reviews, what do you do? Well, from the beginning of my career, my first ever review was nasty, and it really offended me because I didn't understand that that's what they did, you see, when I was 18 years old. The people that didn't know you wrote horrible things about you, but I've got over it now, I'm 42. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when the curtain goes up, you go on and do what you're there to do. Does it have an impact the on the ensemble, though, when you guys Not read at all that. Fantastic, all of them. And we've had great crowds. The audiences have been amazing. So, you know, that is what we're doing it for. When I saw the show, there were some women there who have been to it like 26 times. There you go, that's love. <laughs> <laughs> or insanity. Oh. <laughs> Maybe there, a little a difference? Both. <laughs> is there a difference? <laughs> anyway, well, you and tell me a little bit about playing a Boy George. I mean, here is this, could I say institution? That just doesn't <laughs> seem fitting. But you were about five years old. Yeah, I was. You're, you're, I you're was 22, born, right? 26. You 26. Yeah, I was All born right. in 77. So you were about five years old when, when Boy George had his huge uh, brush with, with fame <laughs> and notoriety and celebrity. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a little bit later, this is a minor brush. But tell me what it's like portraying him. Well, it's been, I mean, I joined Taboo in the workshop, the conceptual workshop. I didn't play George, I played a different character. Um, but I've been around George now for about three years, so it's kind of second nature now. I've been talking about having the makeup tattooed onto my face, so I'll just do this until I'm And I've been talking about sending him out doing gigs and spending <laughs> money. Yeah. You've done that. It's hard enough to play a real person, but have the real person on stage with you, watching your every move, I think and probably critiquing you. No, no, is no, it no, tough? Well, no. It, no, it's not that. It's, I mean, the hardest thing is playing as far as society sees George as this icon, the hardest thing is playing so this cultural icon. George himself has given me enough freedom to interpret the role in the way I want to do. Because I don't do impressions, I train to be an actor, and so I have to do my interpretation of George. And things, there are things in it that aren't exact. Yeah. But because he's such a cultural icon, I get away with a but lot of stuff. Icon, it. that's the word I want. But if you to do it again, you want someone to do it better, and he does a, such a fine job. Well, so. he, he really, you have a, a spectacular voice. I Thank think, you. I mean, you must be sort of cavelling when you hear him sing up there. Sing He's like an angel. <laughs> yeah. He's a Karen Carpenter of our time. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about the number you'll be performing. To actually, you set it up, uh, George, because I know that Ewan's going to be singing. Doing? No, no. <laughs> Stand you in this okay. world. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't. No, no one told me. It's a song that uh, was one of the first songs that I wrote for the show, and really kind of sets up the story of the show. And it's really about how all mothers know when their children are a little different shall we say. All right, well, you and Morton performing this song from Taboo. Mm -hmm. Take it away, and you come you with much. me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm turning my back on this life for as long as I can. Someone make me a star I sure as hell can't be a man I'm too fragile and clever, you know And this universe just leaves me cold I'm just hanging around here I'm longing for someone to Just please me. 
could I'm just hanging around here I'm longing for someone to Morning. Nice to meet you. Have there was never a reason for an air kiss. Mwah. Mwah. This is it. Or I'm going to go have just purple like glitter all over me. Anyway, thanks to all of you for coming in so bright and early. Good luck with the show. Thank you very and much. And we'll be back in a moment. This is today. Come next to me so we can have like a triple shot. Hey, Joe. This is today on NBC. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank you.